Hey Nathan, uh, welcome to the disco. Are you partial to a bit of Gypsy Woman? Nah, uh, not really, but I'm sure they had a good time over there tonight, which was nice to see a few extra people in. Yeah, the students were in tonight, and I mean, they, they got their entertainment's worth, didn't they? It was a tight game, wasn't really obvious at the halfway stage who was in charge and who wasn't. Uh, I thought we were in the upper hand there. We thought we'd been bat whoever's bad second this year at home kind of won, so we were happy with chasing 160, as we've seen the last couple of games, 170 was other teams to chase down so we're pretty confident that we're going to get the job done tonight. Now that's nine wickets you've got against North Hans in two matches. I think it's something like nine for 29 in eight overs. They're going to be glad to see the back of you now aren't they? Uh, yeah I'm not happy about seeing the back of them but it's right no. I think I've just had a day out against them twice so sometimes it works like that. Sometimes it might not go that way so I'm happy just to get the rewards today again. Do you think after the first match, maybe there's a psychological sign that you held over them tonight? Um, I, I did think they might come a little bit harder tonight and try some different things. But I just knew if I held my lines and lengths and just back my skill, I might get some rewards again tonight. So it was nice to just bowl well and it kind of happened. The Emilio Gay played well for his 53 for North Hans and Graham Clark matched him with 56 for Durham and him and Alex Lee's got you off to a good start as well, give you a, a firm platform to build from today. Yeah, well they, both teams had a great opening stand there and then both teams had to kind of crawl it back in the middle there with the ball and it turned into a, a tight game at the end there but I think we showed our dominance at the end there by winning with an over to spare so we had a bit in the tank, we might have pushed a little bit harder at the end just to try to get it done and maybe lost a wicket or two we didn't want to but that's how you play T20 cricket and if you're going to chase down big totals later in the competition you're gonna to have to bat like that yeah i think there was st still 56 needed when ashton turner was in the middle and graham had gone so there was a little bit of it being in the balance there but like we've seen other teams do this week i think leicestershire and not paced it well yeah or well, you always know with ashton coming in you've got a very calm head here and that's what we've been talking about being calm staying calm as much as you can and when you lose be calm when you have good wins be calm and then with ashton going in there one of the best finishers in the in the country if not the world so we knew i was confident even though i was running around a bit like a headless chicken up there but yeah that's why i bat at the end and he's he does what he does busy week you start off with a game against leicestershire on sunday then you've had north hands tuesday not away thursday leicestershire away friday there's no time to dwell on these matches they're coming thick and fast yeah they are coming thick and fast but i think getting a win tonight just gives us that little bit extra boost going into another tough game against Notts go to Trent Bridge and play them at their game. A little bit different wicket to here. We've played some good cricket here. We've played some average cricket at times as well. So we'll hopefully go to Notts and do the job again. Yeah, finally, talking about signs, Notts have won the last seven against Durham, so it'd be nice to end that run, wouldn't it? Yeah, all rounds have got to end, don't they? So I think Thursday night might be the one.